Well, I have an announcement to make. I'm not sure if all of you are aware, but for those who are Cincinnati Reds followers, I know we're not giving up hope, right? But my announcement, I don't know if you're aware, but there will be no more bottled beer served at the Great American Ballpark for the year 2021. Why, do you ask? Because they lost their opener. <laughs> well, you from Michigan might not get it. <laughs> Morning has broken. Christ the Lord is risen today. I am free. I am unlimited right now. Those songs were picked purposely for their message because that is an Easter message for all of us. Morning has broken. Christ, Christ in me has risen today. I am free. I am unlimited. There are no chains that bind me. I am free. I am unlimited right now. You know, we all experience crucifixions in our lives. Some are those crucifixions are way more painful than others, aren't they? Jesus showed us by his example how to get through these crucifixion moments. We have learned, we have learned because of the five unity principles and the awareness of the 12 powers that Charles Fillmore talked about, that there, there must be time in the tomb. That's rest, pray, meditate, self-care. When we are going through our crucifixions, through our painful moments and you know what they are i i can list i can list 10 of them right now you know there are many crucifixions and then there are major crucifixions and for some a lot of people they have been dealing with major crucifixions through this pandemic and through the loss of loved ones through this pandemic especially. So there have been many crucifixion times for so many of us, even without the pandemic, because we're here in a human form, having a human experience, and that human experience is going to involve painful moments. We can't escape it. But the key is, is that what Jesus was showing us was that he then went into the tomb, but he didn't stay there, did he? You've got to rest, relax, meditate, pray, and take care of self so that you are prepared to move the stone away and get out of the tomb and resurrect to a new way of being. Otherwise, we stay stuck in the crucifixion. Anybody relate to that? I can. I have found myself staying stuck over and over and over and wondering why, why, why when I, I wasn't using the tools that I knew to use and get out of it. Excuse me. <coughs> mm. I wasn't using the tools that I know. And that's why we come together in spiritual community week after week. Is because it reminds us. It reminds me of to not stay on the cross. That I need to take care of myself. I need to meditate more. You know, we all get busy. We all have busy lives. I look around and see retired people, and I know that they, I hear it all the time. Well, I'm just so busy. 
And you wonder how you got it all done when you were working full time. You know, so I, I understand that. You know, they, there's, they say that, and you think about this, just ponder this. There, you cannot get to a resurrection without a crucifixion. Otherwise, there'd be nothing to resurrect from, would there? And the key is we're going to have root crucifixions. We're going to have pain. We're going to have suffering. But to keep reminding ourselves that we have the power to resurrect through that. Now, I want to share with you something that I found on one of my resources. Does anybody know, what was the date yesterday? April 3rd? Right? April 3rd of 2021. Okay, break that into April is 4, 3, 2, 1. Any of you who are fans of watching the various astronauts take off into space, what comes after this? 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Blast off! Right? That's what the resurrection is about. Isn't that funny that that's what it was yesterday? Four, three, two, one. Lift off. It's actually lift off. But we exuberant people like to say blast off. <laughs> I want to read this to you because I think this is so worth listening to. It says, and I, I want to read you this article. It says, today, April 3rd, right? 4, 3, 2, 1. Countdown. It's launch day. Your mission is the project. Maybe it's the project you postponed. Maybe your mission is the relationship needs to be mended. Maybe it's a new way of looking at your body or your family or your work. The life you dreamed of. This is the day to begin again and lift off now here is the launch data because it's very important that you know the data the launch data before you blast off right the launch site is the place where you are right now God circled on a map for you that's from Hafiz the fuel the fuel you need is faith hope and love and the greatest of these is love. love. That's from 1 Corinthians. The payload is spiritual energy. God is spirit, or some people call it the creative energy, and it's the cause of all visible things. God as spirit is the invisible life and intelligence underlying all physical things. God is perfect love, infinite power, the total of all good. That's Emily Cady from Lessons in Truth. <laughs> Lift off time. Each moment of your life. It's never too late to begin. Julia Cameron. Remember her? Author of Artist's Way. That's a popular book. <laughs> the launch window. The launch window is open forever. Each of us is one with the evolutionary current. Spirit in action, radiate, radiant to affinity and luminous to eternity. That's from Ken Wilber. Now, the destination? To infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear. Life is about transformation. Constantly. You've been transforming since the day you came into this world. Literally, you are being transformed. Transformation was going on in the womb constantly. So from the moment you were conceived, you have been transforming and you will not stop. This physical body may end but your spirit is eternal and constantly transforming. The Apostle Paul said, I die daily. What do you think he meant by that? I die daily. 
I die to my old self, to my old beliefs, daily. We have the opportunity to do that. But if you're like me, I tend to want to carry the bag of all my stuff with me every single day. And it gets heavier, doesn't it? <coughs> it gets heavier. So it's surely a lot better, as Paul was telling us, die daily. That's the best thing you can do when you go to bed at night, is make a list of the things that you want to let go of, and then make a list of the things you're grateful for. And then put your head on the pillow. I love that saying. So Easter is about liftoff. Easter is about transformation. Dying to what was, transforming to something new. Should I repeat that again? Because I think that's important. Dying to what was and transforming to something new. You know, I've t talked to Sandy Malloy quite often on Saturday nights. She and I have a conversation because we're lining up the order of service and she's running the Facebook Live, which she needs to have slides and screens for all that. It's, a lot of technology goes into church now, let me tell you. So we were talking and she said, well, are you working on your talk? And I said, yeah, and I kind of chuckled and I said, Sandy, this is my 12th Easter Sunday as the minister here at Unity of Garden Park. And it's getting hard to try and say something fresh and new. And she said, Kathy, it's always fresh and new because you're always a new you coming to the, to the podium. And I'm like, oh my God, out of the mouth of babes, <laughs> out of the mouth of wisdom, it's like, bah, duh, I should have had a V8, right? I'm like, oh my God, Sandy, you're right. You're right, and that's what the whole Easter story is about, is we are always bringing our new self, so how can this be an old sermon? It can't, as much as I try, because I'm not a person that reads verbatim, so I don't pull out something old out of the file drawer and read it to you. I come to you because life is different than it was last year. It was different the year before. You know, and then, and then I kind of chuckled and I said, Sandy, that's just like you teachers who have to teach the same subject matter year after year, but you somehow bring it fresh because you're not who you were last year. And for me, I say, thank God I'm not who I was last year. Because I think I keep getting spiritually more aware and aware. The more that I read, the more that I study, the more that I share, and the more that you share, I end up spiritually evolving and transforming constantly. Eric Butterworth from Discover the Power Within says that Easter is not a passport to another world. It is a time to take another look at ourselves and awaken to our God self, our Christ self. For many of you who heard last week's sermon, talk, whatever you want to call it, you're going to get what I'm saying here. If you have not heard it, I encourage you, it's out there on YouTube, it's on our Facebook page, last week's talk was a big Unity Basics lesson about the four levels of consciousness that Jesus taught us. And those were the consciousness of Jesus the man, Jesus Christ coming in from man, coming, starting to become aware of the Christ self in him, to Christ Jesus, where he now is living more from the Christ presence than he is from the human side. So Christ becomes his 
first name, so to speak. Jesus becomes second. And then the final phase, and that's at the resurrection, is the Christ rising to that Christ consciousness. And that's what I believe Eric Butterworth's quote was just saying to all of us, is that we have, and Jesus was showing us this, just by those four different names that Jesus was called in the Bible, had metaphysically a big message to us. And to realize that that Christ is in you. And I got to tell you, I am looking right now at a car window in the windshield. There are two little dogs, right? And they are up at the windshield and they're back out at the side window. Now they're up at the windshield again. And I swear to goodness, dog spelled backwards is... It just is, they're in the Christ all the time. They are. I wish I could say the same about cats, but I think they have a little more stubbornness about them. <laughs> Would you agree, Michelle, our, our animal rescuers here, Judy and Michelle? And it just was like speaking volumes to me. If we could just see it that simply... There's a great rep, and we all love our pets, don't we? And I look at one here that now has turned its back on me. You know, because it's like I've been trying to show you this for years. When are you people going to get it? I want to share a, a cute story here. A guy was opening a new business, and his friend wanted to send him uh, a gift for the grand opening. And so he went to the florist and he ordered this incredible flower arrangement to be sent to him on his opening day of, his, of the start of his business. So the friend who sent the flowers went to the grand opening and uh, the, to, they were actually having a ribbon cutting ceremony and he looked around for his flowers that he sent his friend. And he saw this wonderful wreath with his name on the card. But across the arrangement was a ribbon that said, rest in peace. <laughs> he was confused at first, and then he moved to anger. He left the celebration early, went immediately to the florist, and demanded, how could you do such a thing? And the florist was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. He said, but... But let's think of it this way. Somewhere in the city is a funeral with a wreath that says, Good luck in your new location. I want to wish you all good luck in your new location because you're blasting off, right? Lift off into your new location of your mind yes. right? right oh you know billy graham has a wonderful quote that he gave before well before he ever was getting ready to transition and he said someday you will read that billy graham has died don't believe a word of it i have only changed my address I have gone to the address of God. You die to the old, go to the tomb, spend time every moment that you find yourself in overwhelm, in struggle, in sadness, in grief. Go to the tomb, pray. This is the pause, pray, and proceed I talk about all the time. This is the pause part and the pray. Is meditate, pray, take care of self, rest, rest. I say that and I look out here and see someone who shared with me yesterday or the day on Good Friday service and said, I'm just tired. I'm just tired all the time. Dealing with very overwhelming situations it's gotten to her she's tired and 
and her, her partner is saying to her, then rest. Just rest. Just be. Give yourself permission. I have a hard time with that. You all know that. Because I'm a go, 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 get her done girl. And I don't have time to rest, right? But I got to hear my words all the time. And give myself permission. And you don't see it. Because you only see me go, go, going. But I rest a lot on our property. I rest a lot in nature. Because I need to. Or I would be nothing showing up here on Sundays for you. So I worry ask you to just think about lifting off this Easter and enjoy. Have some fun in your life. If I ask this question, when's the last time you, you had fun? I'm going to go hide Easter eggs all over our 14 acres of property today. I can't wait. Let your little girl, let your little boy out. We have a great affirmation that I want to share with you. And it will be on our website. And I think it shows up on YouTube too. So this is our personal affirmation that we develop every week for you. Because the talk title was called, It's Time. The time is now to resurrect. Can you say that together? The time is now to resurrect. I come out of the tomb of the dark. I come out of the tomb of the dark. And I rise to a new light. And, I rise to a new light. and, thinking, and thinking. That says. I am. I am. Four, three, two, one. Lift off! Namaste. As I close always with my blessing to each and every one of you, namaste, the Christ presence in me truly sees that Christ's presence in each and every one of you. Namaste.